Hi guys, it's JB here reviewing yesterday's game, Burnley 5, Cardiff 0. Uh, for about 60 minutes yesterday, I didn't think it was a, um, a, 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 as comfortable watch as it, sh as it looked. Because I thought in spells, especially the first half, I felt Cardiff really played really well. Um, gave us a good run for our money. And the thing is, I felt that um, we should have been a couple of goals down really before the break. Uh, but some, you know, we scored five, five goals, a nice little mixed bag of funny goals and some good goals, uh, which I'll touch upon now. I mean, first half, I thought, I thought Cardiff bossed the first half on territorially and on chances and things like that. I, uh, but the referee didn't help. I felt he gave a very, very, he gave some very poor decisions for both teams, or against both teams, because. Uh, some yellow cars were justified, some yellow cars weren't justified, uh, but uh, Michael Salisbury did not have his finest hour yesterday, but, you know, I'm not going to let that little detail spoil the day. Um, what I will say is, I thought Cardiff should have been, I thought Cardiff were worth a goal or two yesterday in the first half, I, I felt. They hit the post, you know, but not before we scored first, uh, and it came from their mistake. The ball's got knocked back to... Olvarf, their keeper, and he's just absolutely putting. I, I don't know what he's trying to do. He's lifted his foot up. He's, he's almost like Murich against Brighton last season. He's just lifted his foot up, and the ball's just gone trickling in, trickling in, trickling in. And it's not. He's not moving more and more than what three mile an hour. And he's gone in the net. Um, you know, it, it's a. You know, I'm sure it won't be a great moment for him, but great moment for Burnley, and that's. I thought it was going to kickstart us, but it's it sort of kickstarted Cardiff more than it did us. Unfortunately, and they hit the post. Then they scored a goal that was offside. But I'm more angry about the defending on the first phase. Three defenders there, just completely static, and they had won the header. Uh, thankfully, we got got an iron off the line to catch him offside. But besides the point, isn't it? Um, end of the day, though, we were. I just felt, you know, I felt we could have done more in that first half. Then we get the second one before the break. Uh, J. Rob gets a good break down the. Right, right hand channel crosses in it's not it's cut back and it's Coley also he hits the shot uh, if if people are being highly critical of Horvath I think he should have pushed that over the top but it's gone in the top corner in it so we're two up at half time and really I felt it should have been 2-0 the other way because Cardiff really played their part and they, they were worthy of at least a goal or two I felt um, and I'm a Burnley fan you know what I mean I didn't think we played our best I thought we were shocking um, but um, I don't know what Scott Parker put in the tee at half time, but it, it had a desired effect. Now we get the third soon after. Um, obviously, understandably, Cardiff are looking for the second goal, uh, looking to get back into it. Uh, they uh, they get caught. Josh Brownell, one on one with the keeper, knocks it in from just outside the area. Three nil. That's game set and match. And I didn't think we deserved it to be honest uh, at that time. And then second half, we just took over and play some wonderful stuff last 20 minutes I thought we played we turned it on really nice um Zicky and Dooney I, I I watched the actual game yesterday and and, and I looked at the uh, original thing I thought he hit the bar and come out I didn't realize it had gone for 4-0 anyway it's actually what's happened was we looked at the replays back afterwards because at the original at the original time the balls you know it looks as if the balls just hit the bar come down and back into play but uh, looking at the replays, and we looked at the goal line technology. Obviously, they had the goal line technology, the watches, and all that sort of thing. You get the goal, and I'm thinking around to scratch my head. I didn't think that went in. Then you look at the replay from about two or three other angles, and you realise it did cross the line by a good yard or two. So, no quarrels with that one. It was a terrific goal, actually, when you looked at it again. And then just to, you know, when you know things can't get any worse from a Cardiff perspective, um, you know. Um, we go and hit a fifth, Johan Goodmanson. It's a great goal. I don't know if that's, you know, I I, I would say that's on a par with Collier, uh, with uh, with Andouni's goal. I'd absolutely say that with certainty because you, you look at the way, you know, we went we went forward and everything we just hit turned to goals. I mean, Goodmanson, you know, if you've seen the mission to Burnley with you know, uh, Burnley docks. Um, you know, Gummerson got a rough ride with company towards the end. If you look at their training ground bust up on there, um, 
But I can't see Goodmanson being the morning type. He's not that sort of player. He's a very good pro. And he proved it there. And, um, you know, I just think, you know, two games. I mean, there are some Burnley fans that are still moaning and groaning and getting a knacked off and, and all that sort of thing. But I don't think you've got a cause of complaint. I mean, listen, if you'd have offered me a plus eight goal difference, nine goals, one conceded, six points from the first two games, top of the bloody pile of the championship, I'd have been laughing. I'd been, you know what, I'd have took that. So, you know, let's not be beggars. You know, beggars can't be choosers. Well, you know, I'd rather be at the top of the league with the points on the board and the goal difference at plus eight than I would if I had a minus eight goal difference and no points. So, come on, wise up. You know, we're Burnley. We're doing well. We've got a good squad. I think we've got the best squad in the division and we've started really well. Um, now we've got to Sunderland tomorrow and uh, next weekend and then we've got the big one against the scum from Ewood. And if we can get another three four points from them then i think you can count i think we can count that as a really good start to the season so yeah let's not be all doom and despondency that we won five nil let's be happy that we're top of the league with a plus eight goal difference let's enjoy it